had the chance to invest in a group of people in your local church, I wonder who it would be. Maybe for some of you it would be youth and children, for others young families, for others those on the fringe of the church. For myself, it would be the leaders in that local church. And I don't just mean those with the dog collar, I don't just mean those at the front on a Sunday, I mean all those who together shape the life and the direction of that local church. And the reason I'd invest in them is because all the evidence points to one simple fact, that if that particular group, those leaders, are sure in their faith, clear about their roles and responsibilities as leaders, and passionate about sharing the good news of Jesus with men, women and children, then the church as a whole will be fruitful for the gospel. We're currently working with a whole range of leaders, people like Rohit, who's one of a large number of volunteers who works with us each year to help us welcome 4,000 children and young people on our Venture and Falcon camps. He says that working with us has given him the space and opportunity to grow as a leader. Then there's people like Serena, she's the vicar of a church in Kent. She's been through our Arrow Leadership Programme and what she says is that as a result of that, her leadership and the church that she has a responsibility for are now much more focused and intentional in their mission and evangelism. Then there's people like John, who's the vicar of a large and lively church in the northwest of England. This church is one of many that CPS has a patronage responsibility towards, and it's a church that is now, under John's leadership, pursuing a vision not just to see the church nurtured and transformed, but the city impacted for the gospel. Right now, we need your help so that we can continue to work with leaders in local churches throughout the UK and Ireland. I'm here today to ask you to commit yourself to praying for us and to supporting us financially so that together we might enable local churches to reach out with the good news of Jesus to the men, women and children in their local communities.